Alright, what up guys, Real Touch GML here, and today we have a 3D tutorial, um, FPS tutorial, and this is part 2. So if you haven't seen part 1, go ahead and click um, last tutorial, and it'll bring you right there. So, when we left off, we got the all this display, mouse and stuff, and we pretty much displayed the mouse. <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and set. Um, draw set color C white um, just put that right above the projection and that should all be good so now that we got that we're gonna go ahead and create another object and this is going to be called obj floor and in the draw event we're gonna go ahead and code d3d draw floor this is going to be 0 comma 0 comma 0 because this is X this is Y and this is Z we want the Z to be on 0 because we want it to be flat we want the Y to um, uh, start in the Y so if we go in our room here if you see on the bottom uh, bottom of the screen here there's an X and a Y if I go all the way up here it's at 0 0 and that's where we want it to start we want it to go all the way through to 640 by 480 or yeah 640 by 480 yeah there it is the room uh, width and height so we're gonna do that 640 by 480 because we want the floor to stretch all the way through we want Z to be at 0 because we still want it to be on the ground now we're gonna add a texture I'm gonna do background get texture and I'm gonna set TX floor now we haven't created this texture yet but we're going to in a second so then after that we're going to do room width divided by 128 and room height divided by 128 okay so now for the texture go into backgrounds and name it what we uh, put in there TX floor I'm going to just go ahead and load um, this in this is going to be my texture okay so now you can see that it highlighted and we're all set to go so in the player event in the create event we're just going to instance create 0 comma 0 comma it doesn't really matter where you put it floor now if we go ahead and play play the game up as you can see there is a floor and we can look around we can't move though because we have not set anything to move but you can see our texture worked and we're, we are allowed to look around so let's go ahead and make it so you can move so in the obj player in the step event I'm just gonna add some simple uh, we're gonna have friction is equal to one. Well, all right. So now we're gonna do um, if keyboard check board W because I want to hit with the W key. Speed equals six, and then we're just gonna do the same thing for the S key. Board S speed equals negative six and that's pretty much all you need to do to move because we already have direction set so the speed is just going to go in the direction so as you can see we can move pretty awesome um, alright so I guess that'll be it for this tutorial um, go ahead and leave a like and uh, if you like this video, and go ahead and subscribe if you like my. Whoa. Whoa. Um, and yeah, um, go ahead and comment if you have any problems. And next tutorial will probably be putting up walls and a ceiling. So look for that. And um, I will see you guys next time.